What is happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today, right here with me, the Rust Belt Mechanic. So I've had a lot on my mind this last week, and one of the biggest things was filling the position that we need filled in our dealership. We recently had a guy that uh, ended up putting his two weeks notice in, so we've got to fill a position. And then we've had the whole interview process. So I've had to deal with some of these new interviews, and we'll just say it's been a little abysmal to say the least watch this one good afternoon thanks for coming into the interview today uh, if you want to just have a seat down there and we can get started in on this with you man oh. what's up bro yeah man i'm looking for the job here so I just got a couple of questions to go through with you. You know, just some standard things with the interview process to be able to uh, see what kind of a knowledge base you have here in the automotive industry. So with the job that we have, we're looking for just an entry level technician. That's what the ad's out for. Uh, somebody who is starting out hourly. No, nah, I thought the ad said like full time, like big boss tech mechanic dude, right? Isn't that what it said? Can you tell me a little bit about your background, uh, what kind of mechanical knowledge you have, uh, where you went to school or anything like that? So yeah, I, dude, I've worked everywhere, everywhere. I've worked on cars and trucks and lifted shit and I've worked on my uncle's stuff for like 20 years, man. I've been working on these cars since I was like four years old, seriously four years old I'm I dude I know everything from the front bumper to the back bumper I know it all right okay uh, next on there so some of the things that you're gonna be doing around the shop is going to be doing uh, oil changes tire rotations uh, doing some other uh, tires brakes here and there uh, do you have any knowledge or prior history on doing any of those things in a shop or some kind of format like that? Yeah, man, I could work on anything. I worked on at my cousin Vinny's place. No, I was talking about a real shop. Like that's where you worked before. Is that not what you put in your cousin Vinny's garage? Well, yeah, my cousin Vinny's it's Vinny's my, my cousin. It's at his house. Like we worked on all the neighbor stuff and my grandpa John's and my other brother and let's see, he worked on my other cousin's stuff all the time. He's got like a sweet lifted diesel truck, dude, like sway sweet. Yeah. So I, dude, I've worked on everything around here. Oh, that's what that is. I got you. All right, we'll go off of that one. Um, what about tools? Do you have your own tools? Are you able to come up with some of those to be able to do these basic things here around the shop? Tools? Shit, yeah, I got tools all day long, right? Uh, no, yeah, I, I do got some. Uh, you know, I got some screwdrivers. My, my, my bro, my, my brother, he works down at the pawn shop. I know he's gonna hook me up with like a full set like the snap-on shit, the, like the good stuff. So I'll be able to have that one. You guys hook me up with the job and I'll have those things as soon as I start. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna do a couple of more interviews today. Uh, you look like to be pretty decent on the list or so. Um, I'll give you guys a call back. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's about all the questions I've got for you today. Did you have any other ones for me? So what you're saying is, do I got the job? Okay, well, I'll be giving you a call back sometime, hopefully in the next week or so after we do a couple of other interviews, just gotta get through the main part of the process or something. Uh, I will give you a call. Ah, uh, all right, well, Hit me up, yo. I, I'll be here in like no time flat. I, I'll be like the top dude you guys got here. Top dude. You guys will be bringing in through just loads of cash from all the stuff that I can fix. I'll hook you up. 
All right, guys, so time to get real on this one. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, we ended up losing a really good technician here in the shop. So unfortunately, we've been having to go through these interview processes, and this has brought up a really big eye-opening thing to me that a lot of the younger kids and the technicians these days, they don't know how to interview. So seeing this has been pretty close to one of the interviews that we've had. Myself being the shop foreman and then also the service manager have been interviewing some newer techs for this position. Now I know when you're looking for a seasoned tech to fill like the big positions here, the guys generally know what's going on. They've been seasoned, they've been in the industry for a long time. But I'm not talking about those guys, I'm talking about fresh into the gig. So the stuff that we need to go through is an interview process for a technician. Nobody really teaches you guys how to do these things and some of the things that you need to know are this. Number one, you need to be on time. Not an hour and a half early, say, yeah, that sounds good, you know, I'll be there or so, and not 15 or 20 minutes late. A punctual technician is gonna be the best thing that you can present to a possible employer. You being too early is not a good thing because in a technician schedule and a dealership and other shop schedules, things are set pretty tight throughout the day. We've got uh, appointments and everything set up every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the entire day. So everything is like in a row down the line. We know how the techs work. We know how the shop works. So we have a planned out availability in our schedule to be able to know how things are rolling, how many things we're able to get into the shop to make it as efficient as possible. Next thing you guys need to make sure that you do is that you're presentable. You need to come in so that you are putting out an outward appearance to the possible employer to say that, yes, I am here for this job. Uh, hats, probably not a good idea to wear if you're going into an interview. Uh, come in prepared, bring some paper, pencil if you have any other questions, notes. Make sure you come in prepared for the interview. Uh, if you guys are coming in as a technician, it might not be the best thing to come in in like shirts, slacks, and a tie. And you know, for other office interviews and blue collar stuff, yeah, that might be the standard for it. But here in a technician's world, Show up in something semi-presentable like you would work into a shop with and be able to come prepared and look like you're prepared for this job. Now the questions that you're gonna that you're gonna get asked are gonna be very relative to the position. You're gonna be asked whether you have your own tools or not because here in the US, general to contrary belief, uh, you do have to provide your own tools most of the time. But that is a question that you might wanna ask if that's not brought up. So you need to ask them if they provide tools or if you have to provide your own tools. And of course, the biggest question you need to have asked or ask yourself is what are the job details that you are specifically going to be fulfilling? Now to add on to that point, you need to have some kind of a resume. Yes, they will have you fill out an application or some kind of form along those lines, but you need to have a resume, something that's readily available for you as a technician to put out to them. Yes, I have worked in these jobs before. These are my previous employers. They're able to be contacted. Show what you did, what kind of experiences you've been through, um, what kind of work you're able to do, what kind of tools you have, what kind of training you've been through. Any training is a definite plus when you're coming into this area. Now, being a newer technician, you may not have a whole lot of training, but anything in the way of like if you've worked at a parts store before or if you've even gone to like a technical school, uh, like one of the career technical colleges that attach to like some high schools, you've worked on ag equipment, you've worked with uh, tool and machining classes, those are all big pluses. Just to at least get an idea to the possible employer that you have a competency in at least some kind of mechanical field. You need to know what areas you've come from. You need to be able to bring up past experiences because they're gonna ask you some certain other questions. Uh, they might even get in detail as giving you a certain circumstance to where a car comes in and it looks like this and this happens, what would you do? You need to be able to think on the fly on what kind of job that you're fulfilling to what kind of questions that they might be asking. Another big thing you might want to ask or be asked in an interview process is gonna be something about the benefits. Here in the automotive world, that's one of the biggest gray areas. 
you might be able to pull vacation right off the bat, but more than likely, if you're starting off in a green position, you're gonna have to earn your way up the totem pole. So that means you're probably not gonna be getting much vacation. You're probably not gonna be getting a lot of holidays for like 90 days or so. But those are all questions that you need to have answered. And if they don't have those answers for you, then you need to be second guessing the position and the job because as a technician, you deserve those extra benefits and those you know, days off, the holidays throughout the year. It is a big deal to a lot of people. So make sure that you're not only listening to the interviewer, but you're also able to fight for yourself and understand what kind of a job that you are really wanting to look at and what you're trying to look for in a dealership or a shop that you wanna be at for a long time. The other thing is don't look at it as just a job. Portray the interview as I'm looking for a career choice. This is gonna be a life decision. This is gonna be something that I am going to put pretty much all of my life and my thought and processes and everything towards for the next foreseeable future. Once you portray yourself as somebody who is looking for a career rather than a job, that puts you way higher on the totem pole. Even if you're coming into an early position, but if it's at a dealership or an independent shop, and just to show that integrity, just the fact that you're looking for a career in this field, that puts you miles ahead of the rest of the crowd. Final thing is just to be calm and loose throughout the interview. If you guys are the ones who are in the corner and just like hugging the desk and you're trying to read word for word from an extra piece of paper that you brought with you, that's probably not the best idea either. You want to portray to the employer that you have a competency, you're able to work through situations, you're able to you know, come up with things on the fly, you're able to talk and communicate well with people as well. Communication is one of the biggest things in our industry. Being able to talk to a service writer, a service manager, being able to put those things down onto paper or explain them to a customer or another service employee, they are very, very important. So you make sure you wanna put your best foot forward. There's probably a hundred other things that you know could be asked of you in an interview process, but these were the main things that I could really come up with in the process that I've been giving to interviewers here in the last couple of weeks or so. So in the comments down below, if I've missed anything or anything that you would recommend to younger or green technicians who are looking to come into the field and maybe some interview little tips and tricks for them, definitely share those because technicians coming in these days, they need every little bit of help that they can get. You know, we want them to be able to put their best foot forward in an interview, to be able to get into the door, to be able to get the job that they want, to be able to earn that position and get the career that they really want to be in. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you for this video. Couple things that I just wanted to bring up. This coming weekend, I'm gonna be in North Prairie, Wisconsin with Bertrand 850 and Truckmaster. Of all people, Duramax Diesel's gonna be there too. Don't forget that one. Uh, but we're gonna be up there. If you guys are anywhere close to North Prairie, Wisconsin, we're going up to Ryan's Diesel Service and Kodiak Trucks up there. They're gonna be having this huge truck show where they're gonna be giving away a turbo, a transfer case, having one hell of a time. Lots of people there, dyno day and everything. It's gonna be an awesome some time if you can make it I would definitely recommend to be there another thing to bring up is mr. JRC 54 he's doing one hell of a giveaway over on his channel he is actually going to be paying at least a portion of somebody's truck account off now for us as technicians that is something huge so I will put a link down in the description below he's got a couple of criteria that you need to meet to be able to enter into that giveaway so make sure you go and check him out check out his channel and subscribe to him as well if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with new awesome content like this one. Give it the thumbs up and guess what guys, as always, you guys stay awesome.